All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with a fight announcement out of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So the UFC has booked a strawweight bout between Amanda Hibas and Verna Karkara Jandahoba. That's going to take place at UFC 267 on October 30th. I like this matchup a lot. I think this is going to be a very good fight between two very evenly matched fighters. And it should be a good chance for uh, Hibas to recover off of her recent loss. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats on this one. Hibas coming in at 10 and 2. Jandahoba coming in at 17 and 2. Now, Hibas is coming in off of a loss to Marina Rodriguez via second round TKO five months ago, whereas preceding that, she had been undefeated in the UFC. Uh, Janda Hope, on the other hand, is coming in off of a win via TKO over Kanako Murata just a little over two weeks ago. Proceeding that with a unanimous decision loss to Mackenzie Dern six months ago. Janda Hoba is the elder fighter, 33 to Hibas' 28 years. They stand the same height, 5 feet 3 inches, 160 centimeters. Hibas has a slight reach advantage of 66 inches, 168 centimeters to Jandahoba's 64 inches, 163 centimeters. So as I was saying, I like this matchup a lot. I think it's very even. Now I have seen people say, uh, some people have already, you know, counted Jandahoba out of this using, you know, the typical MMA math. Well, Jandahoba lost to Dern, Dern lost to Hebos, so this should be a pretty easy win for Amanda Hebos. I, I think that's silly. Okay, for one thing, it's not about who beat who. It's about styles. Styles make fights. And Jenna Hoba and Amanda Hebos have, you know, styles that should match up fairly evenly. Um, Hebos is very good on the ground. She's, you know, no slouch on the ground, but likes to keep fights on the feet. Whereas Jenna Hoba is no slouch on the feet, but likes to take the fights to the ground. Now, one thing that I think the people that bring up the Dern fights have discounted, actually a couple things that people who brought up the, their respective fights against Mackenzie Dern are discounting or completely ignoring. For one thing, Mackenzie Dern had just had a baby only like four months prior to fighting Amanda Hebas. So not exactly the best shape. For Mackenzie Dern to be coming into a fight against Amanda Hebos. Also, Hebos has shown a ton of, or excuse me, Dern has shown a ton of improvement since that fight. So it, we definitely weren't seeing the best Mackenzie Dern in the Amanda Hebos fight. But also, Janda Hoba, very different style compared to uh, Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie Dern's striking is very wild. She tends to throw big haymakers, whereas Janda Hoba, her, her striking is a lot cleaner, a lot more precise. Also, unlike Mackenzie Dern, Janda Hoba has decent takedowns. So she can get the fight to the ground a lot better than Mackenzie Dern can. On the ground, they're very evenly matched. But as far as who can get the fight to the ground better, I go with Janda Hoba. So I, I don't see Janda Hoba having as hard a time getting the fight to the ground against Amanda Hebos as Mackenzie Dern did. So I think this fight is going to be very evenly matched up. Uh, it's a good fight overall. You know, McKen he, excuse me, Janda Hoba is on the come up, whereas Amanda Hebos just came off of a devastating knockout loss in her last fight and then took some additional time off to recover from, uh, she cut the coof. And this is the first time Amanda Hebos has actually had to fight down in the UFC. So she took a loss. Now she's having to defend her slot against a lower-ranked fighter, which I think is a lot better. Um, you know, I had made a rant recently about her calling out Yan Xiaonan. And, you know, some people said, well, that's not her controlling her social media. It's her management. Well, whether it's her or her management, I think what they were really doing was trying to call out Yan Shaonan to avoid this matchup. So I'm actually glad that this fight got made because I think this is a lot better matchup overall. And I think it's 
better that he boss has to fight down now and defend her slot having coming off a loss and i think god uh, jandahoba is going to give her everything she can handle so like i said i like this matchup a lot i like i think both fighters have a very good chance of winning this one i should be uh, pretty even once the odds come out closer to the fight. But uh, let me know your thoughts on the fight in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMMA Scene Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.